are about to meet someone new. You should be excited. I am, I am. Okay, here's the deal. I'm gonna take some work calls and then okay. I'm gonna go into the bar instead of the opposite end of you guys, okay? Okay, okay. I'm gonna go inside. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. <gasps> You're beautiful oh. now. <laughs> like my child. <laughs> Maggie, oh my gosh, hey, wow. I have to say, you look so much better than your pictures. Um, thank you. <laughs> it's, it's great to meet you. I mean, I couldn't have been the only guy to have told you that, though. <laughs> <laughs> can I, um, can I get an IPA? Yeah, sure. Um, let me grab you one at the bar. Great, okay. thank you. Sweet. Hi, uh, Hi. can I get an IPA? Sure. Thanks. All right, here you go. Thank you. Of course, of course. <laughs> um, anyways, just so so. Tell me what you do. Uh, what are you looking for? Tell me everything. I'm an artist. Okay. I okay. I work in arts administration. Um, yeah. I used to teach. Now I'm working on the Upper East Side. Awesome, awesome. And I'm dating again, looking for a relationship. That's great. Uh, me too. I'm fully ready to settle down. And you're a banker, right? What kind mm -hmm. of banking do you do? Right. So I'm a private auditor for banks. So right now I work at Credit Suisse. And you uh, work and live in Midtown, right? Uh, well, actually, no. I Right now, I live with my dad in Long Island. Um, he's not doing too well right now, so I'm just staying with him for the oh, time being. I'm so sorry to hear that. So, you're an, you're an artist. Mm -hmm. What kind of art do you like to make? Um, I'm a painter. That's amazing. I love paintings. Uh, do you like to go to museums? Totally. I, um, I really enjoy looking at representational paintings, you know. I actually got to study abroad in Italy um, wow. and I saw so many beautiful frescoes in person. That must have been amazing. Yeah. Um, I never really got to study abroad or anything like that, but my family is from um, the Middle East and Europe, so I, I got to travel a lot when I was younger. Oh, I wish I got to travel when I was young. My parents are both like New Yorkers. Am I talking to a real local New Yorker right now? <laughs> wow, I bet you're a liberal too. You're an artist, you grew up in Brooklyn, you probably voted for Hillary. I'm a Democrat, yeah. <laughs> so we're opposites, but um, hey, that could be hot. <laughs> I'm sorry, did you vote for Trump? Is there a problem if I did? I mean, yes. Okay, we, we don't have to uh, talk about politics. I feel like we were hitting it off so well. Donald Trump is a terrible human being. Um, Okay, I should probably let you know since we're talking um, kind of just where I am and with all of that kind of stuff. Um, and I should start by saying that I, on January 6th, I went and protested for this country and against those fixed elections. Um, and I will admit, though, it, it did get out of hand, but I feel like I should... You were in Washington? Yeah. You were in Washington. What exactly were you doing there? I was helping protest for this country. I didn't want everything that you know, he did to just unravel. But it's obvious and has been proven that Biden won the election. Way too much time and money has been spent trying to prove otherwise. <laughs> well, we have a real difference of opinion. I mean, do you, do you know the amount of damage that Hillary and Obama caused in the Middle East? I mean, it's, it's a total mess. My mom is from Cairo and the revolution was just a big disaster. Um, I had a lot of cousins who were killed, so. I'm really sorry to hear that. And I I know, I understand that there are mm. some weaker parts of that administration. I mean, it's okay. It's not like it's not your fault. It's probably just all of the NPR and MSNBC that I bet you're listening to every day, so I'm not sure what to say to that. I mean, where do you get your news from? Fox? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's just change topics. We were doing so well before. Let's let's move on to some I'm just gonna be honest, I don't um, okay, well, uh, I won't waste any more of your time then. Um, but if you change your mind, then just give me a ring and I promise not to bring up politics again. So. 
Maggie, are you okay? I'm assuming there won't be a second date. Um, no. Add him to the one date wonder list. But he was more kind than you might think. Why does the bartender look familiar? Where do I know him from? He is pretty good looking. Oh my god. Maggie. <laughs> Maggie, Maggie. <laughs> he was the nude model in Pete's <gasps> class at Brad. No! <laughs> Do you oh remember him? Yes, yes, yes. His name was like, name it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, and he started to get. <laughs> and he told me to adjust oh my, my shirt god, because yeah. it was distracting him as if it was my fault. Oh. He had some nerve. <laughs> you two look familiar. <laughs> Very familiar. Did you go to Pratt? <clears throat> um. We both we both studied painting. Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Uh, did you go there? Uh, no, I didn't go to Pratt, mm -hmm. but I did some work at Pratt. <laughs> <laughs> he looks pretty cute with his clothes on too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's stay here tonight. Okay, whatever you want. It is your night. <laughs> 